These are a little more substantive, so we are going to continue with the these guys. So what is this here? Those are business expenses. Okay, so this is my drive, just like I showed everybody before. So we're going to go, let's go to start. We'll do it this way. So here's uh, my 2021 order, my, uh, itemized expenses for the tax man. So you open up to this page first. This is what we are at every month for expenses. And then the total is in red. And now, okay, so there's January, February, and March. Uh, we we'll keep coming up with them. Okay, so like, look here. Okay, I got a vehicle weight ticket. This is what I like about how I did this. So I can tap on vehicle weight ticket. Brings up a link, tap it, opens that receipt. So the tax man ain't gotta do no hunting, it's organized. Here's Walmart where I bought electric skillet paper towels. This is stuff for the truck, right off stuff. See, pull that up, it's awesome. Um, I can't show any of the Schneider Pry tire stuff, but <clears throat> you know, here's another, well, okay, here's so like, here's a uh, invoice for February for the pre-pass. All right, so that's how I've been doing my itemized expenses right now. It's generic. I don't have no trucking office or none of that craziness. Nothing's going to cost me money yet. I know I need to get into something like that. But for now, this suits my ends. So here's the revenue and profit for the year. As of the last day worked was February 25th, this is what our earnings stand, or our earnings stand for. This is based off of the uh, settlement of the uh, 4th of March. So the February 25th, the last day ran. So from that day, February 25th, total earnings to the truck are 43,983,01, and to the house is 22,623,25. Uh, uh, that doesn't account for you having to withhold taxes. Here's last year's complete totals for every week. And then the two numbers on here, revenue and deductions reports, which is the final that they give you, basically the, the 1099, <clears throat> the difference on the gross was 24 cents. I have no idea how that happened. I was I went off solid numbers on both sides of that. I went through each individual statement or settlement, and uh, then I went through the uh, statement that the, or the uh, ten ninety nine they gave at the end of the year, and there was a twenty four cent difference. So that's why it looks like that. But twenty four cents is negligible, at least I think so. But I put it in there for the tax man. So now let's go to my settlement calculation, give you guys an update. Um, this is all the way back to January. I, do, I tried to do this video once, and I showed something I shouldn't have showed by accident. So I had to delete it. So let's start with the week of the fourth which is the last day worked would have been in February. Well, it went through the 28th. It's when I delivered, that's what went on that check. Anyway, so here's what we're looking at, okay? Uh, Barnwell, South Carolina, bounced around the country, ended up in Livonia, Michigan, 2,845 miles, $6,174.19, an average rate per mile of $2.17. Only got fuel three times. I want you to keep that in mind for later. So that's eight hundred. That's a thousand dollars in fuel. Here's all my discounts: <clears throat> fifty four ninety nine, and then fifty eight sixty seven. What is this business here? At one seventy. Oh, I know why that was. That was at a uh, that was at a speedway that had pilot fuel, but it was a few one nine one network. Anyway, it didn't have pilot on the side. So anyway. I averaged out at 8.25 miles a gallon. That's not correct. Um, what happens is you got to average out the week before and the week after that, and then combine them and kind of give you a better picture. Because some weeks I'm at nine miles a gallon, other weeks I'm at like four and a half. So you got to average everything out. Anyway, after my expenses, there's two scale tickets right there on the miscellaneous. Um, sorry, I ain't trying to bounce around too much. Truck made 61.74.19, of which 40 or 4,017. 19 was mine after taxes 28.12.03. So that is last week now, this week that I just finished up today. And the reason I do these is so we know ahead of time how to budget at the house and what we need to save and what our plan is with the business. So I know ahead of time and I'm always within, literally always within 50 cents of what I end up getting settled out to. So I pretty much got this formula down pretty good. But so this uh, this week started in Lima, Ohio, Edwardsville, Illinois, to Monroe, Ohio, back to Edwardsville again. That was a lot of deadhead. It was 300 miles of deadhead. But this Westfield mass load paid three dollars and twenty some cents per mile for loaded miles, and then with empty miles, it was like two fifty something still. So so I took it because heck yeah. 
It paid really good, as you can see. Westfield Mass paid 33.85.41. It's for 1,300 miles. So dumb not to do that, in my opinion. It was the best thing on the board right then and there, and I snagged it. Uh, so Westfield Mass ended, went to Shrewsbury, went to Slee, or excuse me, went to Shrewsbury, and then picked up and went to Lewiston, delivered. Then I went to sleep for a while and picked up at Auburn, and then came back to Chambersburg, PA. Uh, and then after I delivered there, dropped, uh, I came on down here with an empty to, unfortunately, the Hagerstown, Maryland pilot. It smells like a giant dump was taken literally outside all over the whole lot. And there's trash everywhere because nobody cares. It's not the pilot's fault. It's, just, it's these low caliber individuals we drive with out here nowadays. But anyway, settlement totals is 2,897 miles for a total of 6,418 Average rate per mile for all miles is 222. Again, no hub miles included. I'm going to start doing that in a subsequent one so you guys have a better picture. So that 222 is probably going to come down to about a probably 209, 210, something like that for average mile. Anyway, here's all my diesel. See, I fueled an extra time at the front end because I had one less fuel on the last one. And then I, feel, I put 280 in her today so I didn't eat up my next check. I'm going home on the next check. And I don't want to short my short check any further. There's all our discounts, the DF prices. So see right there, sixteen ninety nine fifty one. I did not burn that much fuel. I did not burn five hundred and thirty gallons in the week. I was not as low as five point uh, four six zero gallons miles per gallon. I mean, that's because I fueled two extra times on here. One should have gone on the last check, and one should go on the next check. But this check was big enough. I did not need to milk my already going to be short check when I go home any shorter. So here you go. There's fixed expenses. So after all that extra fuel and everything, 64, 18, 11 to the truck of which 35, 57, 20 was my share after expense. And then after you withhold your taxes, 24, 90, 04. So right there in two weeks at the house, you're looking at 52, 5,200 to play with to pay bills with, whatever, to save, to put towards business. Um, and it's after withholding your 30%, right? So, hub miles, uh, or odometer miles, I'm gonna start doing on the uh, next settlement starting tomorrow, but I'm on reset, so from Wednesday will be the first day that I'll keep track of that. I'll have to write down my mileage and then Monday night when I park or around midnight, get a within two or three mile number of where I'm, you know, where I was at at midnight to, to get an accurate reading of, you know, when it, when it happened or, you know, what the miles were. So you guys have it. And then here's the template that I built. This is what everything's based off of. Um, so when I want to make a new one, I'll tap that and then I'll click duplicate, which I'll do this one. And then the first thing I'll do is I'll rename it to the next settlement, which the next settlement will be three, 16, 20, 21 done see simple as that but we're not ready to do that so i'm going to delete that sheet so anyway that's how that shit works so yeah and then of course i already showed you the revenue and profit there's last year each week whatever so anyway guys uh still rocking out beat up from the feet up a little bit tired but uh i already did all this crap one minute so anyway um, you guys, I just want you to know that you don't have to run as hard as me and you can still make good money, but you know, there's just a price to pay. Let's see. There's a little alien that's going to take a chunk out of the Middle East. Why not? Right. So anyway, uh, but you know, keep your, keep your heads up. I wish the best for everyone of y'all. Don't laugh like that. You know. Apparently, six point six billion two hundred twelve million people just died. So, I'll go ahead and finish this thing off. But uh, you've got plenty of plenty of resources out here between me and the other five hundred guys. I'll turn that down a little bit. Me and the five hundred other guys that are out here that do these videos, and you could be the next one. So, you know, get out here, do what you do. I'm willing to learn. I, I want to learn from all y'all. Uh, there's a plenty of guys I've learned from, and you know, always remain teachable. 
So I'll be reaching out to the same guys that taught me this whenever I get to where they are. And if I do something different or leapfrog them in a certain aspect, if they ask me straight up, I'm going to tell them the truth. I'm just trying to encompass a little bit of my numbers to kind of show you guys what's going on. But I love you guys, and I love that road, and keep that road together. Keep your truck together. Keep your bones together, and keep your faith together. God bless everybody. I will talk to you next time.